Steve Bakari, class of 1992, and let me tell you about Steve. Soccer, varsity 1988 and 1991. 1988, Rookie of the Year. 1990, Middlesex News, first team All-Star. 1990 and 1991, Bay State Conference All-Star. 1991, Eastern Massachusetts All-Star. 1991, Gatorade New England Soccer Player of the Year. 1991, National Soccer Coaches Association, All New England. 91, National Soccer Coaches Association, First Team, All American. 91, Natick High School MVP, high school career record, 45, 15, and 17. Recorded 37 shutouts with a .65 goal average. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Bakari from the class of 1992. Stephen Bakari from the class of 1992 was a Hall of Fame soccer goalie at Natick High School. A four-year varsity player, he was voted Rookie of the Year in his freshman season. As a junior, he was voted Middlesex News First Team All-Star as well as Bay State Conference All-Star. As a senior, Stephen Bakari was again voted Bay State Conference All-Star as well as Eastern Massachusetts All-Star. Gatorade New England Soccer Player of the Year, National Soccer Coaches Association of America All New England, National Soccer Coaches Association of America First Team All American, and Natick High School MVP. Stephen Bakari finished with a high school career record of 45 wins, 15 losses, and 17 ties, recorded 37 shutouts, and had a 0.65 goals against average. 2012 Natick High School Athletic Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1992, Stephen Bakari. Thank you. Wanted to start off by congratulating all the other nom uh, nominees on their accomplishments. I wanted to thank the Hall of Fame executive board members and the nomination committee. And I wanted to thank Mrs. Johnson for all of her help in uh, getting me here. I still have to call her Mrs. Johnson. I uh, went to school with her son, uh, Paul, and I just can't bear to call her Mary, so she'll always be Mrs. Johnson to me. Uh, as I was looking back to prep for the speech, I, uh, I realized how special the time was with four years at Naik High. We always had great support from the community and the students, and we, uh, at the time, I think we had the best playing facilities around. It was always special. We had lights at our field, and uh, every game was really an event when we were home. I played for uh, two very good coaches that were very committed and knowledgeable. Uh, one was uh, my freshman year to junior year, Guido Vardelli, and my senior year, Lou Papadellis, who uh, I believe ended up coaching 19 seasons before I retired recently. Uh, I have a kind of a story that I wanted to share. Uh, this past Easter, I was talking to my brother-in-law, and he was congratulating me on the nomination. And uh, he said, well, I, I talked to your brother. I have a younger brother, Scott, who works for the town. And well, before I tell you what he said, I just want to give you some background on Scott. He's two years younger than I am. And he played uh, defense in front of me. And I don't know if you're familiar with soccer, but you have the goalie, the, goal, the goalie. And Scott played sweeper, which is right in front of me, for two years. And looking back, I, I really cherish those two years of being able to play with my brother right there. But uh, anyways, on to his comment. His comment was, well, if I wasn't in front of him for two years, he, and doing all the work, he would never have any of those records or had any of those awards. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> there's, there's two reasons why I bring this up. Number one, he's not here tonight, so I can poke fun at him without any retribution. And the second reason is he's telling the truth. I was uh, fortunate to play with some tremendously gifted athletes and talented soccer players while I was here. Uh, and I can't name them all and thank them all, but uh, if, if you don't have good players in front of you and you're trying to save breakaways and point-blank shots, you're not going to do very well. So I uh, have a sincere thank you to all those players and my teammates throughout the years. I uh, wanted to thank my wife, Wendy, who we started dating my senior year in high school, and although she was we were only together a short time at Natick. As I went on to UNH and played there, uh, she crisscrossed throughout New England to Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, uh, throughout the four years. So uh, thank you for your support and uh, 
all that you did. Uh, I, oh, one thing I wanted to say, uh, today is my dad's birthday. He's 66, so happy birthday, Dad. Uh, I, I, I won't sing happy birthday, so that's... And uh, it, it, it would be tough to uh, quantify how much I would need to thank my parents uh, for all they did for me throughout uh, my soccer career and uh, all throughout everything. Uh, so all I'll say is thank you. And, and try not to uh, quantify that. One thing that I will bring up though, my dad was my first youth coach way back probably 30 plus years ago. And uh, at the time he had the very good foresight that he took the husky kid and he stuck him in the net. And he knew, I guess early on, that I would never have the ability to run for, or chase the soccer ball around on the field for 90 minutes. So I can, uh, uh, I give, give a lot of my thanks to him for that. Uh, I think that's it for now. Thank you, and enjoy the evening. Our next induction.